Hello, welcome to Sabine Math Tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at rational and irrational numbers. Rational and irrational numbers. What are rational numbers? Rational numbers are those numbers that can be represented as quotients of other numbers. In other words, numbers that we can represent as integer as fractions. Fraction of two integers. If I have two all over five. Let's take it as an example. If I have 2 over 5, if I have 3 over 4, if I have 2, if I have 5, these numbers are called rational numbers because they can be represented as quotients of the other. They are integers. They can be represented as fractions. 2 here has a denominator. 5 has a denominator, a constant denominator, which is 1 and 5. How do I easily recognize and identify rational numbers? Two things. Rational numbers are those numbers that when you have a fraction, it gives you terminating decimal or recurring decimal. We have recurring decimal. Recurring decimal and terminating. Terminating decimal. Any fraction that gives you recurring decimal or terminating decimal is what we call rational numbers. What, I, what do you mean by recurring decimal? If I have example 0 0.3333 and 3 keeps coming out, we call it recurring numbers. If I have 0 0.252525 and 25 keeps coming out, we call it recurring decimal. However, we can terminate every recurring decimal. For instance, this 0 0.3, I can terminate it as 0 0.3 and I put a dot on top. So anytime you see a number that has a dot on top, know that it is a recurring decimal. Same thing will keep recurring, same thing will keep coming out. If I have 0 0.25, I can terminate it as 0 0.25. And I'll put dots on the top of 2 and 5. There are many more examples. This is what we call recurring decimal. A situation number, a, a particular decimal numbers repeat in a particular sequence. We call it recurring decimal. And all recurring decimals are rational numbers. They are all rational numbers. Let's look at terminating decimal. Examples of terminating decimals are say 0 0.25, I have 0 0.3, I have 0 0.1456, I have 4.82. All these numbers are terminating decimal. The decimal part will not keep coming out. Let me show you an example of numbers that are not terminating decimal. If I have 2.5, 2.254, 3.84, 4.82, 4.82, Different numbers keep coming out without a repeating order. This number is not a terminating decimal. It continues. We are going to be looking at such, such numbers when we go into irrational numbers. Such numbers are what we call irrational numbers. If I have example 2 over 51, it will give me values that will keep coming in different with different numbers, not repeating, not in a repeat, a particular repeating order. Uh, another example is 5. If I have 5, which is constant, which has a constant value in mathematics, it will keep giving me different numbers infinitely. Such numbers are not terminating decimals. Terminating decimals are those decimals that we know the last value of the decimal part. These two conditions help me to know fractions that are rational numbers. We are going to be looking at two more things before we wrap up rational numbers. Conversion of recurring decimals to fraction and conversion of terminating decimal to fraction. Example, if I have 0 0.25, 0 0.25, I'll take cognizance of the decimal places, the number of decimal places I have. Of course, I have two decimal places, so I'll quickly uh, represent this as a whole number which is 25 and then represent the, the, the two decimal places as fractions of the 25. 
So I'll add up two zeros and put one. I've converted 0 0.25 to fraction, which can be further simplified as 1 over 4. So 0 0.25 has been simplified as 1 over 4. Let me get another number. If I have 4.36, this can as well be converted into fraction. Can be converted into fraction. Since I have two decimal places also, take the number without decimal points. I'll have 436 all over. I have two decimal places, so I'll represent it as fraction of 100. Let's take another example three. If I have 75.234, this can be represented as fraction. Take the number without point. Then count the number of decimal places. I have three decimal places. Put it under. It can further be simplified into mixed fraction. Let's look at conversion of recurring decimals to fraction. Remember that recurring decimal are those numbers that keep repeating itself in the same sequence. Now let's look at example number one. I have 0 0.37 7, 37 37 37. I have 0 0.37 37 37 37 and 37 will keep recording. If I want to convert it to terminate to fraction, I'll simply uh, form an equation say let x let x be equal to the same number 0 0.37 37 37 37. We can call this equation one. Then since we have Let's represent this as terminating fraction decimals. If I represent as terminating decimal, I'll have 0 0.37. Put points on top. Having represented it as this, uh, terminating decimal, multiply both sides by 100 because I have two decimal places. I have two decimal places. So I'm going to be multiplying x and this guy by 100. If I was to x by 100, I'll have 100x minus, or rather equal to, if I multiply here by 100, I'll have 37.37, 37, 37. This is what I have. Now, simply subtract, call this one equation 2. So, simply subtract, subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Let equation 1, which is this, be subtracted from it. So I will have 100x minus x equal to 37.37 37, 37, 37 minus 0 0.37 37, 37, 37, 37. Now, if 100x minus this x, I'll have 99x equal to, if 37.37, 37, 37, 37 subtracts this number, we will have 37. We will have 37. Therefore, divide both sides by 99. We divide both sides by 99. This guy will cancel this guy. Therefore, x is equal to 37 all over 99. If you point 37 over 99 in your calculator, it will give you recurring decimal. So unlike terminating decimal, we cannot just say, let us assume how many number of zeros and represent it as fraction of that number of zeros. We simply follow this step and arrive at, at a particular fraction. So this same number here is what we have here. Let's look at another example. Let us convert this number to a fraction. Remember the first step. Let x equal to 4.142, 142, 142. 
x equals to this colleague equation 1. Then multiply equation 1 by 100. Okay, you are multiplying by 1000. You are multiplying by 1000. Reason is because we have, if I represent this number in terms of decimal, I have three decimal places. So we multiply by 1000. If I multiply by 1000, I will have 1000x equal to 4142.142142. Call this equation 2. The same procedure, we subtract subtract equation 1 from 2. Subtract equation 1. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. We subtract, we have 4000x minus x equal to 4142.142. Point one four two one four two minus four point one four two one four two one four two. All right. So let's subtract. Point to your calculator. This subtracting this. But for here, I have nine 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 x equal to four one three eight. If I subtract here from here, I will have four one three eight. Therefore, I will divide by 999 in order to make my x the subject. This will cancel the here. For my x is equal to 4138 all over 999. Point your calculator. 4138 divided by 999 will give me this value 4.142142142 recording. This is how we find the fraction of recurring decimal. I'll give you this one to try. Try this. 0 0.2864 284 recurring. Try this and prove it for yourself. In the next video, I'll be talking about irrational numbers. If this is your first time on this channel, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much.